In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a alarm sensor or an alarm trigger to the back of your DVR to start recording. So let's look at the back of our DVR. This DVR happens to have an alarm input on the back of it. And you can see that terminal box there. Now, the way I hooked it up was I used a um, two leads out of a Cat5 or Cat6 cable and tied them into the first alarm port. So the bottom one, if you look at the top here, it, it tells you what alarm ports are there. On the left-hand side in your video, it says on the bottom row, one. That's where I plug in the positive cable. And then to the ground on that row, I, I connected the negative cable. In this case, all I'm doing is creating a trigger by just using two, uh, two wires and kind of twisting them together uh, when I want to create the trigger to start recording. So all you can do is just kind of twist them together and it'll start recording. Or you can connect them to a light switch or something like that. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave them twisted together. And just by having this sort of setup, it sends an alarm input back into the DVR. You don't need to put any voltage on these wires or anything. It's, it's gonna sense it if you just have two bare wires twisted together. And I'm now creating an alarm input on channel one. So now let's look at the DVR itself. And in the DVR, to enable that alarm input, you need to go in and turn that on. First thing I go is I log into the DVR, go to event on the bottom here. Then I select first to turn off motion detection. So in this case, you may have motion detection enabled on that channel one. If you don't want it, let's say you're putting this camera into an interrogation room or something like that. You want to turn that video motion detection off by disabling it by unchecking the enable button and hit apply. Also, you may have video loss enabled, uncheck it, hit apply. Now, in order to set that alarm input to be detected, you want to go into alarm and local. Alarm in, one. That's the alarm input I selected on the back of the DVR. Then I want to hit enable and I want to leave it as NO. This is an open circuit. So now what I'm going to do is um, select it to record the channel I want. So with alarm input coming in on one, I could select it to record all four channels or just one. Depends on your situation, select what you like. Then you can also set it to tour or display that channel that's getting the alarm sensor. If you don't want, want it, you can unselect it. Tour basically means it'll tour through each of those cameras you select here in full screen view. I'm selecting only one because that's the channel I wanna record. And then a buzzer. If you want, you can have an audible buzzer go off for recording and you can even do a log. Now, you can also have a show message to appear to let you know that it's starting to record. So with all these settings done, you know, they're variable depending on your preference and how you like it, but the buzzer will keep on going and I'll show you in a, a few seconds how to turn the buzzer off while keeping a log for it. Now hit apply and watch what happens. I have my alarm triggered in the back by connecting those two wires together. Now I wanna go into storage. The second part of this portion of this video is to set up the recording schedule for it to actually sense that alarm input coming in. You've created an event, but now you need to actually create a, another step to sense that input coming in. I'm gonna go into alarm, all, and then very important, you check alarm here. I want channel one to only be recorded when I have an alarm input going on. And then I'm gonna change the pre-record to 30 seconds so it adds another 30 seconds, pre-pens it to the video. Hit apply and save. Go back to the event, make sure all my settings are connect correct. I've enabled it and I have video detect turned off, motion detect turned off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trigger that alarm again and watch what happens. All I'm doing right now is disconnecting the two wires from touching each other and connect them again. And as soon as I create a new instance of the alarm, the screen comes up showing me that local alarm one was triggered and that also it sees video loss for some reason. But all I'm concerned about is that the local alarm is triggered. 
Now, while those two wires are touching each other, this will keep beeping. The reason I have the beep on is to let me know that it's actually recording and to be rest assured it is recording. Now, in here, if you go into log, you can see that a local alarm was triggered and it's keeping that in the log. Now, if you want to turn off the buzzer, uh, it's becoming too obtrusive for you. What you do is go into our event here on the bottom, go under alarm and uncheck the buzzer, leave the log on and hit apply and that's pretty much it. And the buzzer will stop beeping. Thanks for watching this video.